what he promised to you. He will stand by his word. Welcome to this special interview. Thank you, thank you so much. Tell us your name. Well, uh, my name is Kelvin Dennis, but um, while I know as Mr. Kelvin, so my name is Kelvin Dennis. You've chosen the path of music, basically gospel. Why? Oh well, um, for me, I feel gospel to be um, what I want to, what I call to. Do. Not just, you know, something that I want to do, you know, to please anybody, but I know that's something that I call to do to please God. When did you get into it? Well, um, I started gospel music in 2009. How did you get inspiration? Well, um, all my time, like when I was a teen coming up, I always, all my associate is no pain in the choir. Everything about me was relating to music. All right. So when I started music, I got inspired from the competition I participated in in 2009 called Singer to God. And that competition had a lot of great talent, great Liberian talented people, which of course, um, uh, well, the Brennan's Blackie was also a part of it was that competition that exposed everyone uh, at that time to you know music. It helped build our skill, it helped build our talent, it helped build our stage management and what of you. So through that I got inspired, you know, to do more, to go for more, to say, yeah, this is where you know I fit, this is the way that I can you know, be able to spread the word of God through the gift that he's given me. It's almost a decade since you got into the game. Oh yeah. The question also that follows is that, why gospel music, not R&B, not the other music, you know? Um, like I said previously, um, this is my own way of spreading the gospel to the people. Yeah, because I believe in my generation, I'm just not anybody. You know, God has given me this talent and I want to use it for his purpose. You know, I want to, to attract other people out there to tell them about God through whatever gift that God has given me. How do you go about producing your songs? Oh, well, um, I did a couple of songs here and a few outside. Yeah. And I did feel with um, Stone McShine, Eddie Wilder, who's not here in the state now, David Sandy, who's also in the States, did well, you know, just like that, just bit by bit with all the Google guys. The talent is one thing, singing the songs, another thing, but one issue is that you are in Liberia, a country that is polarized and has a lot of challenge when it comes to marketing your talent. What is your own take when it comes to this aspect of the game? Well, um, for for not just me, but for every artist, whether you're a, a, a movie star, your single, a gospel singer, or cycle singer, you know, one thing I believe in, I believe in branding. Okay, if you are already, you have to brand yourself. Okay, people people go for what they see, visual something, you know. So what you show out to the public is what the public rush for. Okay, you I don't care how good you can be, and if you don't have a good branding style, well, you will see the public um, the public wouldn't really you know you know getting zeal to go for more of your work. But if you 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 got a very good branding. Well, you attract people that way to, to go for what you're producing or what you, you're into. Are you such a person who has been branded already, correct? I mean, that people actually go for? 
probably maybe maybe um, through this interview, this is your first time knowing Kelvin, but um, if you go on social media, I'm very well known on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, on Twitter, I got my official page there and thousands of people follow me, my work. Between Liberian music and others out there, you have the Ghanaian music, you have the Nigerian, South Africa. How can you draw a line between Liberian music and other musics out there? Basically, in terms of drawing the attention of Liberians who listen to gospel music. Well, um, that's a good question. But you see, we in Liberia, okay, or Liberian as a whole, should be the first people you know, that will go for what, you know, their own is into or making. If we be the first people to love our own, other people outside will love you. We will also love you too, right? So, like, if Calvin Music is playing and, uh, and, and people outside there, you know, they're going for it, they love it, and then I'm telling you, that's how the music also will go outside. Nigerian or Ghanaian music that's been played in Ghana or Nigeria, the people love their music, they love what they're doing. So that's why we in Liberia do love it. But if we love our own, but people outside too will definitely love it. But to tell you no lie, um, Liberia and entertainment right now is really claiming. It's claiming people getting to love, you know, our style of music. What a gospel music, what a secular music, people outside getting to love it because of the way we are presenting it now. Do you write your own songs? Sure. All of my songs, everything I would. There's a song you song called Hero. Can you speak a little bit about that song? Can I? Can I work? Talk about Hero, a song called Hero, titled Hero. Yeah, um, okay, I did Hero last year when I was in Ghana. Um, I went there purposely, not for Hero, but I went on a um, family issue where my late cousin, he was, oh, he's very sick and he needed to go on a, you know, surgery or whatever, but I was there and it was a tough time for the family and everybody was just kind of confused, you know, and then I thought to myself, um, when everybody giving up in life like this, who can we run to? Who is that strong pedal that can, you know, hold us, who our hope, who our trust in this situation? And then I say, um, no other person but God. God is our hero. He's our strength. When you're losing hope, when you're losing trust, when you're losing your strength, he's there to comfort you and there to uplift you. So I just leave it up into God, hands. I say, God, you take charge, you take control. And that's how I got inspired and I wrote that song in less than two days. And God bless me. I went to the studio. We have it recorded. And then we did video everything before I could come back to Liberia. That means you must have, you must have carried money with you. you must have Cutting a lot of money to produce in Ghana. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, of course. It takes money to do good thing though. But let's come to Liberia. You know the economy we find ourselves in. Highly challenging. And producing music is one thing and you also have piracy. So how do you go about raising money to realize what you invest into the business? Okay, um, yeah, is it um usually we do, um, me and my team, we do annual concert. All right, we do annual concert, and that's what I've been doing since 2009, 2010, 11, 12, even through the Ebola, we did concert throughout, we've been doing concert. I, 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 I'm a person who believe in a concert to do a live, you know, worship session, to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, 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 contact or interaction with the audience then we all leave it up the court. So through that, we either do CD sales or we just do just normal concept, but we we also do um, entrance fee, what people are gonna pay and come in and we raise funds through that amount too. But this is gospel related and somebody will say, well, uh, this is God's business. So, I mean, it does not require you collecting money from people all the time. Oh, oh, people come with that perception? It's God's business, but 
you should also, also take into consideration that um, we didn't just sit down because mana is not still falling for heaven though. We didn't just sit down and put a top and say, go up, pull down in the money, and then we're going to do fly we're going to do banner, we're going to do all of these things. We're going to beautify the stage, we're going to get light, we're going to get smoke, we're going to be the, the MC, we're going to do that. How do you think the money going to come? If we say, all right, right just, the, um, the, the, the Bible says your gift will make room for you and you will sit before your kings and queens. He didn't say that um, you should just go and just, you know, waste it. And besides, what God gave you, your gift is priceless. So it should be something that people should should pay for. Anything that's, that treasurable, people pay to go and see it. Do you care to tell us the ministry or church you belong to? Yeah, I'm in Winners Chapel. Winners Chapel? Yeah. yeah. How does the church support you directly or all you do is all by yourself? Um, they, they just support two prayers and a lot of you, but as an artist, you have to stand for what you want to do. That's why I tell anybody, if you want to do, um, if you want to do music, all right, right now, Maybe right now it's getting better, but before I had a lot of people that would, you know that would come to me. Oh, I want to do music. I want to do this. I want to do that, and I don't have the finance or whatever. Well, you have to scrap. You have to fight. You have to you know keep going. Nothing comes easy. Okay, so if you want to get there, you want to you want to be who you want to be. You have to fight for who you want to be. Because sometimes if you depend on people, they will let you down along the way. In a, in a minute or two, can you give a freestyle your song hero? Uh, somebody here, exactly. The kind of voice you have, why is it inspirational? But you say you, you you listen to, to a hero already, so you say you want to hear No, it's not about me, just me. It's about the audience who <laughs> follow you. Uh, uh, oh, but um, they are, you see, these are the things that um, we have to take into consideration. The audience do have to play their part. They have to go by our songs. They have to go on YouTube. They have to go on the other uh, uh, um, site that have the song and download the song. At least to support. That's another means of supporting. Me coming right, I can sing for one hour. Say if you go my song, I I just feel. Jazz Pro Africa creates this platform basically to allow you give a gist of what you do, so that somebody will be able to listen just for a minute and appreciate exactly and see as to how they can follow you on the platform. Uh, oh, well, that ain't no problem though. So you give us a minute problem. too. God will do what he promised to you. He will stand by his word, cause he's not like man. I know that God will do what he promised to you. He will stand by his word, cause he's not like man. He's dependable, reliable, unchanging God, and they the same yesterday, today, and forever. For he is seated on the throne, he's the bright and morning star, glorious to bow, for he's my hero, hero. My hero, he, 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 my hero. Great, my hero. Oh. Touching. Yeah. You got a plan for five years, two years, three years? You got a plan when it comes to your music game? Like you are in 2020, maybe in a year or two, or sometimes ahead, what you intend accomplishing? If I want to do a concert, if you, if you, if you got a if you got a plan, that okay, you, you can show with you know the listeners. Too. Oh, exactly. Um, I had a couple of songs already for this year. I did some, and then few remaining to you know finally go into studio. Well, I have plan on doing the video for my latest song. Thank you, thank you is a testimony. So I'm telling God, thank you for everything He done. I wanted to do a video for that. I wanted to, but I'm doing a video for that before the end. So the public can watch up with that, with that video. And I have a couple of songs that I should have other people future on, both 
locally and international. So the public should also watch out for that and watch out for what God is about to do. To your social life. Okay. Is Calvin married? Pardon? To your social life. Okay. Are you married? Very married. <laughs> Very married. Very married. You got kids? No, not yet. You married? Okay, that's good. So, what is your own little advice you have for those upcoming addicts? Well, uh, like I told you um, before, or not even before, every other time, people will get to me on social media or personally, they want to get into music, you know, they don't have support, they need to get there and this and that and that. But you cannot keep, you know, blaming people for you know, what you want to do. Instead, you have to get up, fight for it, like I said, and keep moving, all right? I don't care how, how much small you're going to start, but in as much, you put time and your energy into it. Once you are good, they'll go for you. But not all the time you're going to rely on people, like, um, you know, I'm begging this brother to help me out, to help me there. And we all know how the country is right now, how the country economy is right now. So you there begging this one person and the person is not doing nothing about it. And then your dream will just go down to collapse. No, you have to fight for it. You have to go for it. Apart from English, somebody maybe will say, okay, that's our librarian brother. Which one of the vernaculars does he actually sing? I'm not even gonna lie because I can't speak none. But you have been told that you came from somewhere, I guess. Yeah, well, of course. I'm from Bond County. Bond County. But you don't speak the better. Yeah, I don't speak the better. I'm not. My goodness. But I, when it comes to the issue of DJs, I know you got a choice. Something you love so dearly that almost every way you want to eat it. Yeah, of course. Um, and what's that? Like, at my home, we eat red up to the grill almost like four, four times in a week. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. And then kidney beans. And gravy like that, but red right potato green we eat it almost all the time. So the nice can say that one national art <laughs> you gotta eat it almost every time. Yeah. We as we draw close to the conclusion of this interview, okay, for you to go back and recall the social media platforms through which people can access your work, can see what you're doing and follow you. I didn't get that, sorry. To go back and tell us the social media platforms through which you can be oh, reached. Oh, oh, okay. Um, on Facebook, I have three three pages on Facebook. I have um, Minister Kelvin Dennis, one of my page, and I have uh, Minister Kels Liberia, one of my page, and I have my official page, the Amazing Grace Music Ministry page, and I have almost all of our work. And then on um, Instagram. You follow me at LIB Kells, I'm there. And then on YouTube, you also follow me, Minister Kelvin Dennis.